Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create an action for the table view cell. You see those actions in your daily applications where you can actually swipe on to the left and then delete a row or you can either save a row, archive it, you can do a lot of stuff. It is very easy to implement, so let's go ahead and see how it's actually done. I hope you enjoy. So let's start guys with creating a single view application and call this an action or whatever you want and language Swift. Next and create. Perfect. Now let's go to our main storyboard and insert the table view into our view controller. So this is our view controller and we want to drag a table view, this one right here and stretch it up. Perfect. Now let's give it constraints and it's gonna expand it through to the whole screen. Perfect. And now let's create one prototype cell by increasing number one. And here let's make our cell a bit bigger. And by clicking on the table view cell on the left side, on identifier, let's give this action or whatever identifier you want. Now let's connect the table view with our view controller. So this is my view controller and I'm gonna right click and drag my table view and create an outlet called it table view and connect this. Perfect. And last thing after that, you want to drag uh, the table view into the view controller and say data source and delegate. Like this, your table view is listening to any changes that you do. Now in our view controller, we need to specify the delegate and the data source of the table view. So in here you say, next to UI view controller, you say UI table view delegate and UI table view data source. Perfect. And this will give you errors because you need to convert to three methods. Those methods are number of sections in table view and we want just one section. So we're gonna return just one. Now uh, we also need number of rows in section and we're gonna return zero at the moment. And also cell for row at index path. Now in here, you want to create a cell which we're gonna call let cell equals table view dot VQ reusable cell with identifier. And the, this identifier is action that we gave to our cell. And you want to say return cell after that. Now this will return our cell into our table view. And you want to specify that this actually exists like this. Perfect. Now that you have a table view, you want some information, right? So let's say you have a table view with uh, some data and that data is stored in an array. So here on the top, I'm gonna create this array and I'm gonna say var array equals uh, an array of, I don't know, just strings. So I'm just gonna call test and test two. Test three, I'm gonna put just five. Test four. Test five. Now I have this array with five uh, objects inside, which objects are string, but you can have it with anything. And in here, when I'm creating the cell, I'm just gonna say cell dot text label dot text equals array uh, of index path dot row. Like this, for each cell, I'm gonna get the title to say test, test two, test three, test four, and test five. Now that I have five cells, uh, I need to say here to return a uh, number five. So simply I say array dot count, and this will return all uh, those objects into my table view. Now, how we add the actions? For actions, you need to call the table view method called edit actions 
for row at index path. Now in here, you want to create uh, the actions that you want. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create a delete action and let's say something like save action. So in here, let's go and say, let save action equals a UI table view row action and you open brackets and it gives you style, title and a handler. Now the style we want to be uh, default and title is gonna be save. And handler, uh, we can press enter and this will give us uh, a completion handler with an action and index path. And for code we say, for example, like print um, saved action pressed and you can do whatever uh, your code wants to do for the save action. And uh, let's go and create like our delete action. And this is gonna be let delete action is again, table view row action. So it's UI table view row action, open brackets and style. For this one style, um, I'm gonna put destructive because it destroys the cell and title I'm gonna say delete and for handler again press enter and say here action and index if you need those and since you want to delete this row actually what you want to do is let's say self.array so you want to get uh, from that array the exactly the index path that the action is happening on and remove it from the array. So you say remove at in, int and that int is index path dot row. So index path dot row. So when you press the delete action it's gonna remove it from the array and also you want to say self dot table view dot delete rows and that delete rows accepts an array of index paths and we just want to insert one index path in there, the index path that we are currently selecting the action from. And with animation, if you want any animation, you can press dot and it will show you all the animations. So I'm just gonna say fade. And simply you say return uh, an array of actions and we want to return the delete action comma save action. Now something else that you can do is that save action we want to give it a background color you can do that of course so save action dot background color equals uh, color uh, color literal and I can select like a greenish color that means save for example. Now let's run the program and see how this looks like. So here you go, this is my table view. As you can see, I have five uh, cells and if I drag the cell, here you see my actions, save and delete. Now it is important to put the actions here in the return statement as delete and save as the first one that you put in the this array is gonna appear on the very right. And that's why it becomes like this, delete and then save. And by pressing save, here you, say, you see that saved action pressed uh, got called. And by deleting the cell, you can see that it deleted my cell. And here I can delete this cell, this cell, this cell, saved action, you can see that I press it and uh, saved action pressed appears in my console and deleting, it deletes my cell. So it's very easy you know, to go and implement any actions that you want to do in your table views by doing, by calling just this method. And this is how you implement those custom actions into your table view cells. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.